Hi beauties, I know this is long overdue. If you're on my Facebook group, you know pretty much daily how I'm feeling. I update quite often on Facebook, but for those on YouTube that want an update, I'm gonna give you the complete list of things that are wrong with me. It might be TMI, but I'm gonna give it to you because I know people care. I have had multiple episodes of STV since May. I've been to the ER eight times, six by ambulance. I have premature atrial heartbeats. I have sinus tachycardia. Most of you know, if you've been with me for a while, I have Arnold Chiari malformation type 1, which has a whole plethora of issues that go with that. I have Barrett's esophagus. I have severe acid reflux. I have diverticulitis, osteoarthritis. Both of my knees need replacement. I'm low in vitamin D. I have PTSD. I have generalized anxiety disorder. I have severe OCD, and it's not as in turning knobs. It is all my thoughts repeat probably a thousand times in a minute, 24 hours a day. I have sensory processing disorder. I have depression. I have agoraphobia from several very traumatic things that have happened to me in the last few years. Some of you know some of those things that have happened. My neighbor killed himself in the front yard, literally shot himself. I was home. I was fostering a child. That became extremely unhealthy environment for me. I had two dogs pass away during COVID of old age. One was 13, one was 14. I had a near pretty bad accident during an unexpected ice storm, but it caused other people to get in accidents by trying to avoid me. I have had just a plethora of things go wrong. I have had a hard life, I'm going to be honest, from literally childhood. I've always managed to kind of pull through and do what I got to do. Um, as I'm getting older, last year I was going through menopause. This year, I think that I'm finally in the later stages. Uh, I just... I just guess when I started to settle down and not have to take care of other people and just started taking care of myself, everything just came out because now I have the time to sit in it. And when you keep busy and you're busy all the time, you don't. You just keep going no matter what's wrong. Keep going. You keep going. You just get up. You do what you got to do. I'm really good at taking care of other people. I'm very bad at taking care of myself. So the STV episode in May was new and my heart rate got over 260. It was extremely scary. I thought I was literally having a heart attack. They came, cut off all my clothes, put the pads on. It was pretty traumatic. Um, so now every time something is wrong with my heart, the high blood pressure or anything like that, I get worked up. Yesterday, Chewy had a vet appointment and I did not feel anxiety. I had taken anxiety medication before, but I was sitting in my vehicle waiting for Chewy to be done. They were running a little behind. I felt like I was literally having a heart attack. The pain in my chest was a level 10. So I ended up having to call the ambulance from the vehicle. The vet was amazing, came out and talked to 911 on the phone for me. I cannot say enough about my vet and the whole office. They were amazing. So I ended up in the ER and luckily all of my blood work and EKGs are all normal. So that's amazing. I don't know exactly what happened yesterday because I don't really feel like it was an anxiety attack. It might have been an STV episode, which you wouldn't see later on. It would have been happening, caused me pain and been over because my STV episodes do not last a long time, but it can cause chest pain. So I have just been going through it guys and I'm trying every day I get up and I retry again uh, I'm mentally exhausted Chewy is home and he's doing well they think he was bit by something he's on antibiotics and he also has an anti-inflammatory so he's all checked out he's good he's back to being his normal loving self today which is amazing could have been so much worse there was a big pocket of fluid under his skin and it was very uncomfortable for him and he wasn't really eating too much or drinking so he is better and that's huge for me they kept him until I got out of the hospital and luckily uh, my sister went and picked him up for me my mom went to the hospital with me these people all work full-time jobs so they are not always available the stars kind of just aligned yesterday for them to be able to help me most of the people in my life just work and have families and aren't available. So I'm kind of doing this a lot by myself. 
I just want to say thank you so much to my beauties on every platform that I'm on because honestly, you guys get me through more than you know. Having these Wednesday and Thursday videos gives me purpose and I really thoroughly enjoy doing them. Uh, I like keeping my mind busy, so the more you interact and comment, the more interaction I can give back, and it will help me so much just by watching, just by interacting, just by commenting that, you know, anything, an emoji, you care, whatever you want to do, just interacting makes a huge difference. So thank you guys so much for all of your continued support. I wish that I could be in the stores. I cannot at this time. Um... And I really miss it a lot. And I don't want to get... I miss it. And I miss um, the interaction in the stores with you guys. Because it was just so fun. But I am staying strong, guys. I feel weak a lot mentally. But I'm doing what I got to do. And I love you.